Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Unicorn Imperium and today we are playing the Xenomorph! Oh my god, I cannot believe it actually happened. Like many of you, I have also been hoping for this specific chapter for a very, very long time. Behavior bringing the Xenomorph to Dead by Daylight opens up a doorway to many other franchises that could hopefully join the game as well. Today we will go over the Xenomorph's power, perks, gameplay, and Mori along with the perks and gameplay for Ellen Ripley. Let's get into it. I'm so excited and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so here is the Xenomorph's power. It is called Hidden Pursuit. When the Xenomorph is in a trial, a series of tunnels become available to it by accessing a control station. It can enter these tunnels to quickly move around the map, detect the presence of nearby survivors, and speed up the cooldown time of its runner mode. Exiting a control station momentarily deactivates deployed turrets and tags nearby survivors with Killer Instinct. The special ability Runner Mode. The Xenomorph enters Runner Mode automatically when not on cooldown. In Runner Mode, the Xenomorph walks on four legs and becomes stealthier, reducing its tear radius. While in Runner Mode, the Xenomorph also has access to a brutal tail attack. Special map feature Control Stations. Seven control stations are scattered across the map. Survivors can interact with these stations to get a remote flame turret, while the Xenomorph can enter and exit the tunnels underneath the control stations. Special item, Remote Flame Turret. Turrets can be placed in the map to counteract the Xenomorph. When the Xenomorph enters the radius and line of sight of a turret, the turret attacks. This attack staggers the Xenomorph and can cause runner mode to end. If a turret successfully knocks the Xenomorph out of runner mode or fires for too long, it overheats and must be repaired by a survivor. The Xenomorph can attack turrets to destroy them. Carrying a turret makes you immune to detection while the killer is in the tunnel. So we have turrets. Flame turrets in Dead by Daylight now. That's so awesome. This is uh, this is a good addition to the survivor set. I'm I'm excited for that. That's awesome. I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna be fun whenever I'm the killer, but when I play survivor, I'm definitely gonna have a blast with those. No pun intended. <laughs> All right, let's get into the perks now. Uh, first perk is Rapid Brutality. You can no longer gain Bloodlust. Hitting a survivor with a basic attack gives you 5% haste for 10 seconds. Our second perk is Alien Instinct. This perk activates when you hook a survivor. You see the aura of the farthest injured survivor for 5 seconds and that survivor is oblivious for 20 seconds. Our third perk is Ultimate Weapon. When you open a locker, this perk activates for 30 seconds. Survivors entering your tear radius scream. Reveal their position and gain blindness for 30 seconds. This perk goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. Let's go get some survivors. Here we have Ellen Ripley. Let's go ahead and go over her perks. Chemical Trap. After completing 50% progress on any generator, this perk activates. While standing next to a dropped pallet, press the active ability button 2 to install a trap, which stays active for 120 seconds. The aura of trap pallets are revealed in yellow to all survivors. When the killer performs the break action on the trapped pallet, the trap explodes and they are slowed by 50% for 4 seconds. Our second perk is light footed. When you are healthy, this perk activates. Your running footsteps are silent. This perk goes on cooldown for 20 seconds after performing a rushed action. Lucky star. When you hide in a locker, this perk activates. You leave no pools of blood and make no grunts of pain for 10 seconds. When you exit a locker, you see the survivors and the closest generator's aura in yellow for 10 seconds. This perk goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. Well, we have our perks and we have our drool. Let's go get some survivors. All right, we are at the new wreckage map. I'm pretty excited this map looks so awesome just from what I've seen. All right, so this is how you select control stations. I put lethal on because uh, I, uh, I use it all the time. I'm so used to it. It's my crutch perk. I think we all have our crutch perks. Are right, we gonna go to this control station and go into the tunnel? Or use space. There we go. And okay, it shows you the way. Perfect. We are now in our runner ability. Where right, we got killer instinct going off right here. We got two survivors. I don't have any flamethrowers up or turret. Flame turret. Flame turret. Where did they go? <laughs> Uh, I lost him. I lost them all. There we go. There we go. And all right, I'm deactivated from my runner ability. 
Now we're taller. Oh, shoot. I thought I was about to get pallet stunned. <laughs> Okay. Got her. Break this. Uh, we haven't injured anybody else, so when we hook her, we're not going to see anybody else with our uh, our new perk. Let's see if anyone is in the area. And uh, it does not look like they are here no one nearby all right uh can we just keep using this we can there's no cooldown all right perfect they are all right they're all over here all right nice Oh, I missed? He's a little aim. There's a, like a delay. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely a delay, but once you get the hang of it, it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's, it's almost like hunches where you gotta get ready once they're uh, about to vault or go around a corner. This gen's almost done. See if anyone's here. There. Okay, perfect. Go get him. We're gonna be uh keep an eye out for a flame turret. <laughs> Flashlight. <laughs> Got her. Perfect. Put her on a hook. No one else is injured, so we're still not going to get use out of this perk, so that's okay. Let's see. I mean, I know they're right there, but screw it. This is so fast. It'd be silly not to use it. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me get you! I was, I was blinded for so long, oh my gosh. Got her. Up we go! Oh, we know they're in the area. Someone's over there healing. We'll go, uh, go over here. Oh, actually, someone's right here. Oh. Interesting drop. Oh my gosh, they're pounding these gins. We gotta... We gotta get our stuff together here. <laughs> Are we left out there with the, uh... With the flame turret? Oh, I whiffed? Got her. Are right, no one's injured? Again, not really going to get any use out of this perk. No big deal. Let's go ahead and use this tunnel. This is so fast, I can't believe it. Flashlight's wicked. There we 
we go. Uh, I didn't even think about the flashlight. Are we good? We're good. That was a good flashlight. Ouchies. Good palette, good palette. I said ouchies. <laughs> I should start smacking those turrets at some point. I was wondering where that chase was. There we go. Got her. Kind of weird. I don't know which Ripley's which because there's so many of them. There's so many. No one's here. Oh, someone is here. Someone is here. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. I didn't hear the uh, killer instinct at first. <laughs> My eyes that high up? All right. Had to make sure we didn't have a mori. There we go. Oh, actually. We do want them to get a save. Well, do we? Oof. Alright, I need to just break this. Alright, we got a Mori ready. Let's go. Uh, we need somewhere out in the open. Here we go. Here's a good spot. From uh, Alien vs. Predator, isn't it? Oh dang! All right. Well, that was the last survivor. Let's go. So far, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I gotta, I gotta work on using the tunnels more effectively and uh, getting used to the tail attack. But definitely fun for sure. Definitely fun. I, I enjoy it. Looks like a cute little, almost kind of like a little Demogorgon run, kind of. Little puppy. Little puppy. Alright, we got the blood lodging. We are facing Xenomorph. I saw it in the loading screen. So this should be fun. This should be fun. This is a nice balanced map, so I'm excited to see how, uh, how we do here. And we got our three Ripley perks on. I'm used to having uh, Windows of Opportunity on, so this should be interesting. Where? Where? Snap. Oh no, the vaulting! I guess stuck. I guess stuck. I guess stuck. I guess stuck.
<laughs> I got stuck. Oh man. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, they got a flame turret up. Nice. go ahead and heal real quick. Oh, please don't see me. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm gonna start to work on this gin. I'm gonna get a flame turret up, and then work on this gin. It looks like it's the thing to do. It worked out for them. It should work out for us. Perfect. We had just enough juice. Okay, so there's a, a range you can set it down in. Just go right here. Yep. Oh shoot, he's right there! Oh. <laughs> oh, right when I set it up, it gets flamed. Leaving. The looping, okay. My poor flame turret's gone. All right, we're gonna go to a different gen. <laughs> we're going to a different gen. Hi. Oh, we got this. We got this, Dwight. What do you got on you, paddles? Are we going kayaking? This sounds amazing, actually. Kayaking would be so fun. I'd love to go kayaking. Feels so protected. Look at that thing. That was so cool. I actually have flame turrets and DVD now. This is so amazing. So amazing. We got this gin done. We got two more to do. We're doing okay. We're doing okay on hooks. We're not doing too bad. Uh, I think they pretty much stayed on that side of the map. I don't really want a three gen though. That might be an issue here. We might three gen. All right, I'm gonna go find another gen to work on. So we can uh, go between the two. There we go. We got blast mine up. Okay. Oh no, go after Dwight. Oh dang. It's bad. Okay, they're there. There we go! We got the trap in! Let's go! Got you. Go get Dwight as well, and then we'll all do some, uh, some family heals. There we go. Getting these heels off. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go do a gen. Let's go do a Jenny. Let's 
setting up all of the flame turrets. Let's go, Dwight. Let's go. I like how cautious you are. I really want to know if the flame turret um, will knock a survivor out of the killer's hand when they pick them up. I'm really curious about that. I want to test that. I believe the, they beep whenever the Xenomorph is getting closer. I'm coming, Ash. I'm coming, I got you. Can be healed now? Yes, okay. Dwight's getting another uh, flame turret. <laughs> I love it so much. He's loving those things. Okay, let's go. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Where's the other Exegate? This is the only one I saw. This is the only one I paid attention to. If I'm being honest. Shall we? You wanna? Let's go. Let's go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go to the gate. It's this way. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. We can all get out. Got you. I got you. I got you. I really want to see this. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't want to leave! Oh no! I wanted to repair the flame turret to see if it could get the survivor off of the killer. Oh, they have a Mori. Do they have a Mori? No, they don't. Oh, they do have a Mori, they just uh, are unmoriable. Oh, Ash. Oh no, I'm sorry, Ash. Oh no. Yes. Yes! Go, go, go! Go, Ash, go! Let's go! Go, 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 go! No, just go! <laughs> yes, that was awesome. Well, there you have it everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing both the killer and the survivor gameplay. I feel like we are going to see a lot of fun builds coming from these new perks. I'm so excited for Xenomorph and for Ripley to officially come to Dead by Daylight. I am kind of curious to see what changes will come from the PTB. However, I do feel Behavior did such an amazing job with this chapter and I hope there are many more to come. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you next time.